Josh and Kevin both wrote an article for the Huffington Post that was disseminated pretty widely. And in the article they say the right stands by its politics and practices and in solidarity with their allies, and too often the left doesn't. And actually my friend Dave Zirin, who's also very outspoken on, uh, on these issues on Israel and Palestine, has a term that, that he calls PEP, which is progressive except for Palestine. And uh, we see this a little too often, so my question is, has that been your experience in working in, in circles in the left, and what do you think can be done to sort of change his attitude? Israel Palestine is probably the hardest issue to talk about, um, and there are a lot of folks who don't want to talk about it, um, and that includes Jewish folks. That includes folks who feel like that's only a Jewish issue, or I don't want to be called anti-Semitic, or I don't want to be called um, anything. Um, there's just a lot of going on, and I understand a lot of it. It's a sensitive issue, and it's a very sensitive issue. Um, and there is, I mean, I felt repercussions from it this week. Um, but uh, if we don't speak out, if we don't speak out, nothing changes, and it only gets worse. Uh, if we don't speak out, um, and if we don't build coalitions, then what happens is the Israeli right wing doesn't get pressured by America, and America doesn't get pressured by us, and the status quo continues. And the status quo, I honestly don't, I don't know the position of AIPAC, and I'm, I'm interested what their position is, because I don't know where they see this going. If they, if they're, it's just perpetual war, and where they see resolution, or if the resolution is just perpetual war. I think I think APEC would be happy with the end of Palestinians. Honestly, I mean I think like that's their stance, and that's my sense. That's the practice what they advocate for in practice. But I, I mean, to answer your question, I think on the on the left, I think that I've been a part of their, you know, in Chicago, there's uh, the Jewish Council on Urban Affairs, the JCUA, and they, you know, they do good work in the city, they do solidarity work in the city, but the thing, I mean, as a practice, the thing that they will not talk about is Israel-Palestine. That seems disingenuous if you are a part of various progressive spaces and won't have an actual holistic conversation about justice for humanity, then that seems disingenuous. And so I think no longer can Jews on the left or you know Jews anywhere not have an open conversation about what's been happening for a long time now. You know, I don't think that we can hide from these conversations. I think you know what happened in Gaza in January uh, you know might be a catalyst to change the public discourse. But again I think I think the conversation is changing and I think it needs to this moment.